So guys, for the first step, you want to get to this screen. Now to get to this screen, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Once you turn it back on again, you're going to see the Windows Zone screen. Now once you see the Windows Zone screen, you want to turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it will bring you to here. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on Advanced Options, which will then bring us into here. And now once you're in here, you want to click on Troubleshoot, and then you want to click on Advanced Options. Now we have a few things that we can try out. So for the first method, we're going to be doing System Restore. If you do not see System Restore, you want to click on See More Recovery Options, and then it should appear right here. So now once you find System Restore, you want to click on it, and now this will appear. If you do have a System Restore already on your computer, you want to click on Next, and then you want to follow all the steps and you want to go back to your system restore point and then the problem should be fixed. If you do not have a system restore, like me, I don't have one, then you want to click on cancel and we're going to move on to the second method. Now for the second method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and now we're going to be doing startup repair. So again, if you do not see startup repair, you want to click on see more recovery options. And then once you find startup repair, you want to click on this. And now it's going to diagnose your PC. Wait for this to load. If that did not work for you, then you want to click on advanced options. Click on Troubleshoot and click on Advanced Options again. Now for the third method, you want to click on Command Prompt. Now we're going to type in C colon, click on Enter. Now we're going to type in CD space backslash Windows backslash System32 backslash Config. Click on Enter. Now we're going to type in MD space backup 2 and click on Enter again. Now we're going to type in copy space star dot star space backup and click on Enter. And if you get this, which you might not, but if you do get this, you want to type in all and then click on enter again. And then you want to type in cd space regback, click on enter. And now you want to type in copy space star dot star space dot dot and click on enter. And now you want to type in a and then click on enter again. For me, some of these commands did not work because I haven't got this problem, but in your case, it should be working. So now once you do all of this, you want to close this out. And then you want to click on continue to Windows and then that should fix the problem. If the problem is still not fixed, then you want to come back into this screen, like I showed you how to do the start of the video. And then you want to click on Troubleshoot, and then you want to click on Reset this PC. Now you could choose to either keep your files or remove everything, you just want to choose whichever one that you want. Then you want to go through this and just reset your computer.